Hey everybody, what's up? It, it's another chaotic themed video, but we're doing some unboxings. Um, I picked this up from Amazon. I'm pretty sure these are my chaotic sleeves. Uh, and I got a jumbo box from a friend of mine. Uh, I'll put their Instagram down below. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this Jim Jam. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can actually just, nope. Gotta do it like this, which is a-okay. Come on, let me in. You can do it. I have nothing but faith. Jesus, this box is resilient. There we go. Oh shoot, no way. Shot there. Accidentally knocked my camera off. My god. Give me a second. Alright, sorry about all that. And they put packaging popcorn in my thing, so that's gonna be fun to take care of. Thankfully, it's not much. I'm just gonna quickly take a second to, yeah, do that. And, uh,. They sent me a piece of paper, which is that's the receipt. But yeah, look, it's actually a deck box they sent me. I wonder if the sleeves are in there. It's designed with the security strip to hide code during gameplay. Yep, it looks like it's sleeves and a deck box. That's very lovely of them, actually. Look at that. There we go. And look. There's the sleeves. There's 50 of them in there with the box. So that's actually really cute. I didn't know that it, it came with that. Holds cards in Ultra Pro deck protector sleeves. Fits in Ultra Pro gaming case, white on strip. So there's the little code strip right there. So all your codes can be protected. So we're gonna go ahead and put my sleeves right in there. I know I do have some chaotic sleeves and I do love them a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no. It looks like that whoever put this tape all stuff together didn't do a very... Oh, there we go. Well, that's cool. I like that with Maxor, uh, Intrus, Kaor, and Seato, I think. There's Lord Von Blue, Takinam, and Atticat. There's the sides and all that. And again, we'll pop it open just so you can see that there's the tribe symbols. And so yeah, there's that. Now, we're gonna scoot everything aside for the Big Daddy. Now you're probably wondering what the Big Daddy is. Oh God, this is the Big Daddy. So, I'm gonna just try to open this off can, uh, rather, just open it while I can. You guys can stare at that box while I talk and open up this bad boy. And again, this is a gift from a friend of mine. Uh, I'm super excited, but I'm also super nervous because he said he included some extra goodies in there for me and he specifically wanted me to open it in the form of a video for the channel. So that's, uh, it's got me a little nervous, not gonna lie. All right, all right. There we go. Oh, there we go. So, whoa, hey. So, oh, here we go. He gave me this little picture. Enjoy with the peace sign. Instagram at FrankieC97. That's uh, capital F, lowercase r, lowercase a, lowercase n, lowercase k, yc, both lowercase, 97. That's on Instagram. It looks like this is an ad for something. But I do like this picture. I don't know what it's for, but I think it's cool. Oh, shoot. Ah, he threw in an extra little couple goodies. So he sent me... What looks to be a Beyblade? 
He sent me a Beyblade and a copy of Gears of War 3. Uh, not bad. Not bad. I like that. Thank you. Thank you, Frankie. Uh, and I don't know too much about Beyblade, but if anyone wants to tell me what Beyblade this one is in particular, I would highly appreciate it. Come on, camera, focus. Focus for me. It doesn't want to focus. But if anyone could tell me what Beyblade that is, I'd highly appreciate it. But now, let's get to the meat and taters. He put it in a scanner, which is lovely. I forgot that a scanner was included in the deal. So, I cut both sides. At least I thought I did. Whoops, I did it again, son of a bitch. Okay, hopefully I don't have to do any more knockoff knockups ever again oh gosh and he really really packed this in could have let some flow but that's all right so i'm gonna pop open the scanner it looks like that the first thing in there is a tacky nom i'm gonna cover the code as best as i can 45 energy one music 65 courage 65 power uh, 20 wisdom and 100 speed. That's a pretty fast ass tack, you know. That's pretty cool. I appreciate it, my friend. Thank you. Whoops, I accidentally zoomed in way too much. Way too much. I'm trying to adjust the camera after knocking it off. I didn't mean to knock it off in the first place, but these things happen. And of course they happen while I'm filming. Which is A-OK. -okay. So we'll go ahead and repackage the scanner. And again, that's what the scanner looks like. All right, so let's get into the meat and taters of these things. So, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just skim through a bunch of these as best as I can with this first small handful. And there's like about 300 cards, so get ready. Uh, Zerv, or Zerif, however you pronounce that. There we go, I upped the quality a little bit, sorry about all that. So we're going to start with Zerv, or Zarv, 35 energy, 2 music, 40 wisdom, 25 power. Does that say, yep, that's 55 wisdom and 65 speed, he has air 5, not bad. Next is for Missator. For Missador, however you pronounce that. Um, comes with 35 energy, 1 Mugic, uh, 70 courage, 50 power, 30 wisdom, 45 speed. Uh, and he has Hive. For Missador, gains 10 courage for each Mandiblore. Alright. Next is Air. E -R -E, E-R-E. Eerie. Uh, 45 energy, 45 courage, 70 power, 10 wisdom, 110 speed, that's fast. Range, swift 4, recklessness 10, he's a war beast. He's a very generic war beast. Hunter's perimeter, initiative speed, when this becomes the active location, but Pedians gain visibility surprise. At the beginning of combat, reveal a new active location, invisibility can't be targeted. So what I'm going to do is, uh, it seems like all a lot of these are just comments or uncommon, so I'm going to quickly just show you the card and then move on to the next one all right I suddenly decided it's a lot more fun if I just say their names. So it's Dash Hun. What a fucking name. You know, now that I'm noticing these, I've never actually really seen a lot of these, so this is news to me. Balan, 
Sacrifice him, activate high when he's in the discard pile. Infect target uninfected creature. I mean, he's got pretty decent stats. He's an okay Danian. Song of Resilience. Never seen that. Target creature gains fireproof 10 until the end of turn. Depend it gains element proof 10, whatever the element is. And I just got an impar uh, parasite token, so I set that aside. Uh, Fosh? Fash? Fish? <laughs> uh, next is Dubin. Alright, this is Dubin. Next is the Mandiblore Crown. Sarah got infected with this. And I'm pretty sure almost everyone in the cast did, you know, except for Peyton and Kaz. Or rather, Tom. I meant to say Tom. Uh, granted, I don't remember how true to life that actually is in comparison, so. Ornithor. Then it's Queen's Gate. Immunity to invisibility. Strain of Clarity. And I just want to say, all these cards are in really damn good condition. Like, perfect condition. So... Got Atropole, 40 energy. Another Atropole, also 40 energy. Now, I don't know what the stats of any of these things are, so if anyone could give me a, a crash course, that would be great. It's going to be Shadow Strike. Ectospasm. It's going to be Force Strike. Flesh Warp, Ember Flourish, a second Ember Flourish, whoa, that's a fucking name, Melody of Parasitic Mayhem, Infect target uninfected creature, if Hive is active, uninfect all creatures controlled by opponent instead, and deal 5 damage to target creature with each creature uninfected this way, interesting. So that is the first pile of chaotic goodies. We'll put that right there. Then we're going to grab the second stash right here. Blap. Ooh, some of these are turned around. Ooh, here we go. We got Clasp. What a name. It looks like Mike was asking, but the eyes are moved. Power Pulse. Ooh. Got Magmon. Very classic creature. Got a second Magmon. Another Power Pulse. Ooh. I apologize for the influx of camera angles and all that. Things are just interrupting the video, and now now we can continue, hopefully without any more interruptions. I was going to say, you know what? I'm going to quickly just zoom in a smidge. Sorry about that. No more interruptions. Song of Asperity. It's good for attacking on the Shadow Knight. Sorry if I seem annoyed. I It's because I am. There's just a lot, a lot of interruptions, and it's driving me up the wall. You got two Cannon of Casualty. Deal 20 damage to target creature. It's an Underworld Magic. Song of Fury. Specific Diminishing. And from here on out, I'm just going to quickly flash the cards until we get to the next pile.
You traitorous bitch! <laughs> I just, I have to take a second. A Dawn of Param, original Maxor, 65 energy, 105 courage, 55 power, 90 wisdom, 50 speed. Oh my god. It looks beautiful. I am making an overworld deck with this. Okay, I know this is like basically like a whatever card, but I got fucking Gild, man. Like, Gild in the show was kind of a big deal. Hold up, can we talk about that speed? Oh my god. Five speed? Five speed! I finally, I finally have a heptad, and oh my god, it is beautiful. 
Heptad, you beautiful son of a bitch. I cannot wait to use this one. Alright everybody, that was the complete unboxing. Holy crap, what an amazing, what an amazing set of cards that we got ourselves today. Uh, right now I'm trying to separate the supers and ultras out of my pile here, so that way I can show you guys what they are. But in the meantime, you guys can stare at my fucking awesome Maxor and Heptad. Both from the original Dawn of Harem set. In perfect condition, may I add. Like, I, I'm just so overwhelmed with happiness. I really, I don't know what to say. I'm internally freaking out. <laughs> you know, because like, oh my god, Heptad... And Maxor himself just, oh my gosh. I'm seeing if there's any other supers and ultras from this specific little hand that I have going on right here to see. Just double checking, you know, because I always want to, I just want to be sure. Okay, okay. I did miss a few. But thankfully, I went back to check. Alright, and I think that's it in terms of my supers and ultras. So, we got a good pile. You know, we got Felfor. We got two Illazars. We got a sexy Colmo. Colmo's always gorgeous to have. A Ritsudag. Two Karaba. A Kurtlitan? However you pronounce that? Oh, sorry. Kurtlin. Acid Wash. A couple Cyclone Slams. And again, all these cards are in perfect condition. Like, Jesus. I, I could not have... I could not have honestly have asked for a better pull than what I did here. Thank you so, 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 so much, my friends. Oh my god. Recurring Rescue. I'm sorry. Melodic Might. Ah, excuse me. Two Elemental Elegies. Strain of the Tide. The Telebracers. The Urshard, or Urshard, however you pronounce that. Uh, got a couple more um, uh, Kurtzlins. A Arubin, or Arabon. It's Arubin now in my mind. A Marant. A couple Carnival of Confusions. Castle Pillar. Whoops, I totally just shot off the code for Castle Pillar. Whoops. 
That's one card gone. Dranicus Threshold. I don't know what kind of foil this is, but let me know. You guys have Tata Max or both have it. Stronghold Morn. Iparu Jungle. He doesn't really have like a foil, but. And two Illusionary Lakes. So. <laughs> To make a long story short, sorry about the pause, I had to answer, my wife had to answer a phone call. So that being said, that's the video I have for you guys today. Let me know what you guys thought of the poll down below, and not to mention the gorgeous Underworld City. Ugh, oh, it looks great. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope you enjoyed the poll. Let me know what decks you think I should make with, it, with these cards now that I have freaking the means to make a decent Overworld deck. All right?